Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. So today I'll be talking about how to convert one React application to Next.js application. So let's get started. So here you can see that I have already created one React project using create React app boilerplate and clicking on one link I'm redirecting to this weather page where I'm showing my uh, current city's temperature. Now uh, I'm just showing you the code behind this uh, weather application. So switching to VS code, you can see that inside app component, I have used one third party library that is react router DOM. So this react router DOM manages all my routes and inside render method, I have used uh, two routes. One is root and other one is weather. So this root route is pointing to this home component. So inside home component, I'm rendering these images, this text and also this link. And finally notice this link, uh, I'm just given the attribute to as slash weather. And then it goes to this route that is weather and this uh, weather route is uh, pointing to this weather component. And then inside this weather component, I have declared some states as empty string. And then inside component did mount, I'm calling one free uh, API, which is giving me some response like city name, weather condition and the local time. And then after getting the response from that API, I'm updating my state. And from that, uh, from, uh, from those uh, state variables, I'm just rendering it inside my HTML elements. Now I will show you how to convert this uh, React application to the Next.js application. So for that, you have to first install uh, the Next.js boilerplate. So you have to go inside terminal and inside it, you have to write npx space create hyphen next hyphen app and then your app name like uh, React clone. And then you have to enter into that directory cd space react clone and I'm writing code space dot to open VS code inside this directory. Now I have to write npm space run space dev to run my next.js server. So you can see that the server is running at port 3000. And if you open browser at port 3000, you can see this default next.js welcome screen. Now going back to this uh, Next.js boilerplate code, you can see inside pages one file that is index.js. So this is the main uh, default file you can see whenever you are going to install Next.js in your system. Now I will put this Next.js source code to the left of my screen and that React source code to the right of my screen. So, uh, just a minute, let me set up this uh, split screen, uh, take it to the left and take it to the right. Okay, fine. Now, uh, just minimize these things for now. Okay, so you can see that this index.js file is exactly equivalent to the root page of next js so at first what i will do i will delete everything from this uh, index.js file and i will simply write rce snippet to just create one uh, react syntax for classful component now uh, i will replace this diff tag with body tag and then I will copy whatever is there inside my react.js root page. So what is my react.js root page? It is the same as this home component because the root route is pointing to this home component. So I'll go inside home component and whatever is there inside home component, I will copy everything from there, like only the return part and I will paste it inside my body tag. Now, if you just notice that there are some classes named app, 
app hyphen header app hyphen uh, logo so how to use these classes inside next.js project see there are multiple classes over there so at first what i'm doing i'm just copying everything from my react project app.css file and i will uh, paste it inside this home.module.css file which is inside styles folder and after pasting you should keep one thing in your mind that you can't actually use this hyphen inside the class names so you have to remove that or you can replace with some other names like so also i need to change these things and also you cannot use any style class which is just equivalent to any tag name like this one body or p or any tag name now going back to the index.js file what you have to do here uh, to reflect the css changes you can see that i have imported styles from that css file so to use those styles you have to uh, remove this double quotation and you have to write styles dot app and here the app is the class name and uh, this means from styles you are just importing the class that is app and here i'm just deleting the image because i haven't copied that file from my react project and then i have to apply the same logic for every class attribute so i have to write uh, styles.p for here and you can see that uh, i have used link here so for using link i don't have any library inside my next.js project so if you just go inside my react project you can see that i have used this link and then i have imported this uh, react router dom library to use this link so what to do inside next.js project for this link so inside next.js project you have to import link from next slash uh, link that's it and uh, you have to replace this two with href okay now save it and if you just go to your uh, website you can see that lo at localhost port 3000 you can see all the changes that you have made now if you just click on this check your weather link it will take you to the slash weather route and for now you can see that 404 error because you don't have that page so to create that page you need to simply create one file inside this pages directory so right click on that click on new file and just give the file name as weather.js and this file must be the same name as the route name now i will copy everything from this uh, weather.jsx components of my react project because whenever there is uh, one route slash uh, weather it will show me this weather component and then after copying this from my react project i will paste it uh, inside my next.js uh, project inside weather.js file so here you can see that i have used axios to get the weather details so for that i'm to install axios so write npm space install space double dash save axios to install axios dependency in your next.js project now uh, you have to again import this css file just like this uh, index.js file so just copy that and paste it inside this file now again you have to replace those style attributes that is classes with this styles.card styles.search like so now if you just go back to your page and replace it you can see that it is showing you the correct weather information just like your react project so that's all about converting your react application to next.js application
So I hope this video has helped you to understand how to convert one React application to one Next.js application. So thank you for watching. Please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video. Thank you.